So now you've done your research, you've gone to the U.S. Treasury website and you've determined uh, that you are eligible for the Paycheck Protection Program. It's now time to get the information ready to actually fill out the fillable application that can be found on that U.S. Treasury website. To begin with, it's just basic information. It's your business legal name, your business address, your tax ID, your contact, phone number, if you have a DBA, that information is simple. The next part, which is the most important thing, is how to calculate your average monthly payroll as defined for this loan. And we're gonna walk you through that step by step. Now you've done your research and believe that you are eligible for a loan under the Paycheck Protection Program. We're gonna walk you through a simple calculation for how to come up with your monthly average payroll expense. This is an important part of your application. Um, the numbers here are gonna be very basic and very simple for calculation sake. You're gonna to wanna to work with your accountant or your bookkeeper to find what these numbers actually are and to make sure that the benefits uh, and the numbers that you're using are actually eligible under this program. But for our purposes, let's start out, out with, you have to find out the total amount, salary, wages, commissions, and tips in the 12 months before you do your application. So for ease of our calculation, let's just say that you look at uh, your numbers, you work with your bookkeeper and you find that the total here was $1 million. The next is employee benefits. So it's listed on the information sheet on the US Treasury website which employment benefits you can use um, in your calculation here. And let's just say that those total $100,000. Obviously this is in a perfect world and we're doing this for calculation's sake. Next is state and local taxes assessed on compensation. For this, let's just use a number of $200,000. You're going to have to prove the numbers that you put in here. So you're going to make sure it's like back in elementary school, you're going to have to prove your work. So if you add all these up, you get 1,300,000 in total compensation that's eligible for a year, but it's capped at uh, for salary, wages, and commissions, and tips at $100,000 per employee. So what you do is, if you have a number of employees, you find out the number who are individually over $100,000 in salary, wages, commissions, and tips annually, and you have to subtract everything that's over $100,000 um, for those individuals. So if you had four uh, individuals who were making $125,000, you would have to subtract $25,000 times four to get your final number um, for your uh, loan, or sorry, for your payroll calculation. So you're gonna subtract, in this case, $100,000. Again, this is so that the math is easy. And you would end up with total eligible annual payroll expense of 1.2 million. And to get your monthly, you simply divide that by 12 and you can fill in that portion of your application with a number of $100,000. Again, you can talk to your accountants, you can talk with your payroll companies, a lot of them have calculators that will do all of this for you and make this process very easy and provide documentation to support the numbers that you're using in your application. The information contained in this video is not to be construed as legal advice. This is for informational purposes only on the Paycheck Protection Program. This program is changing almost daily and this video was prepared on April 7th. So everything that you hear, um, bring it to your legal advisor or financial advisor so that they can give you up-to-date information and information specific to your business.